Preservation of artifacts underwater is influenced by many factors. The cold temperature uh, certainly helps, uh, darkness uh, helps, and this is something we, we uh, obviously find in, uh, in Arctic conditions. Deeper water uh, tends to be colder and darker. Beyond that, if artifacts are covered over by a layer of protective sediment, that can uh, really encourage high levels of preservation. That's because the sediment uh, will uh, produce an uh, anaerobic environment where biological organisms can't grow and, and feed on, uh, on the artifact materials. So uh, when, if they're entombed in a protective layer of mud or sand, uh, that can uh, lead to astonishing levels of survival. Our documentation of shipwrecks can be fairly cursory, uh, sometimes involving just a, a quick visual inspection, uh, some photo and video coverage. Uh, sometimes we'll uh, stretch out a, a fiberglass tape uh, along the center of the wreck and uh, we'll record features relative to that, uh, that baseline. Sometimes we can uh, pull out an expansive grid system and we'll measure every uh, exposed feature centimeter by centimeter, doing uh, cross sections and uh, noting the, st the stratigraphy, the, the overlapping layers in a site uh, kind of in three dimensions. The research process into, uh, into a shipwreck can, uh, can take decades. Uh, in our experience, we've uh, come across very uh, fragile piece of wood. Leather is a fairly common find. Uh, uh, we've found uh, footwear uh, on Arctic sites, uh, Arctic sea surface boots. Um, uh, even paper can survive uh, on an underwater archaeological site. Uh, we have examples from as early as 1690 of uh, paper being uh, preserved intact. And it, it helps if, if uh, sediments cover over uh, the, the finds and, uh, and preclude uh, uh, the oxygen that uh, is necessary for, for degradation.